Welcome in the name of our God, God who gives us all that we need. God is good, God is great. Welcome all, and all always means all. I'm Pastor Wanji, serving here at Eldersgate United Methodist Church. We are online and in person. Um, welcome, friends, online. And today we have a wonderful worship service, praising and giving thanks to God for a week of VBS in which our children and ourselves learned God is our daily bread, and we proclaim God is great, God is good. Come, let us worship. Good morning, church. Good morning. Please join us in the call to worship, responding as all. All day long, God calls to earth. All day long, earth answers. The rivers run and grasses blow. Sand shifts and shifts again. Lava churns deep within earth. All day long, God calls to earth. All day long, God Earth answers. Ocean tides rush in and out, and creatures swim along. Trees bend and straighten, and mountains sing the song of the ancients. All day long, God calls to the Earth. All day long, Earth answers. Dusk to dawn, day to night, six days turn to seven. All day long, God calls to earth. All day long, earth answers. God's people come together, friend and stranger. Let us join with all creation in praising our wondrous God. All day long, God calls to earth. All day long, earth answers. Come, let us worship God. Imagine you are sitting on the bench, looking into the possibilities of life to which God calls us to live by faith. The inner workings of our minds are amazing, God. Our thoughts and insights, actions and ideas create possibilities that become clearer and more defined as we look with your intent in response to your call. As we gather together and look through the windows that open to life-giving, just, and faithful pathways, enlarge our faith that we might step beyond our places of comfort, assured that our actions will reveal your life-giving grace. Amen. If your knees are able and your heart is strong and joy is overflowing, VBS was a pathway for my call and my life. So I invite you to stand up if you're able. And with our spirits full of praise, let us sing our VBS theme song. And I invite everyone at VBS that was singing it for a week to do your motions. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
joining in the, the, our craziness. So welcome to a food put, truck party Sunday morning. We've been on a roll with God, exploring how we experience and play a part in God's giving us, every, giving us each day and every day our daily bread. My name is Top Chef Sheep, and again, my hat got lost. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and this is my friend, DJ Cupcake. Hi, everyone. Thank you for allowing your chefs to come and join us at VBS. We had a great time learning new things together. We sure have. What are your favorite parts, DJ Cupcake? Favorite? Hmm. Meeting our chef's read session, hearing our awesome Bible stories, watching at science, or awesome food truck party tunes, learning the ways God provides and how daily specials fit together to make one awesome mealtime prayer. There's just no fa one favorite. What about my jokes? I know you enjoyed them. Wouldn't you like to hear just one? Sure, but just one. Really, they're not too bad, not even quite a taste for them. Go ahead, share one of your jokes. Okay, do you know why bread really hates hot weather? Because it feels too toasty. Get it? Bread? Toasty? <sighs> oh my. Well, I loved learning and sharing our main course theme verse with them. Oh, that, good one. Our, our main course has helped us to keep focused and remember what we're supposed to be all about here at Food Truck Party. It's Matthew 6, 11, which says, if you guys remember it, help me, give us this day our daily bread. It's part of the Lord's Prayer and more than a memory verse, we are practicing turning to God for whatever we need. I love that Top Chef Sheep. And do you know what's better than sharing our main course? What's that, DJ Cupcake? Our daily specials. Ah, oh, you're right, DJ Cupcake. Along with our main, sh main course, the chefs also learn Bible stories and daily specials. Daily specials are phrases that help us remember how we can turn to God for all we need and how we can join God in providing for others. Let's do our daily specials. Okay, you guys ready? God, God is great. great. God, God is good. good. Let us thank him for our food. By his hands we all are fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. All right. That's great, guys. So let's hear one of our stories from Kristen, Kristen and Barnaby. All right, so for those of you who maybe don't know me, my name is Kristen, and I was at the Story Station for VBS this year, and this is my friend Barnaby, who helped me tell stories to the kids all week. It, it was really fun. I, I enjoyed telling stories to the kids, yeah, and the kids enjoyed talking to you too, Barnaby. Um, I'm so excited to see you guys again. I've really been missing you uh, since we haven't seen each other since Thursday, and ho hello to everybody online. I, I miss seeing you too. I hope you're having a good day. Bye. Bye. All right, thanks, Barnaby. Oh, and Kristen, I, I brought something, as always, in my, in my backpack. Every day, Barnaby brought something in his backpack that had to do with our story, so let's see what he brought today. Barnaby, did you bring Swishy again? Yes, that's my pet fish, Swishy. 
I call her Swishy the Fishy, and they told me not to bring her to VBS because they said don't bring pets to VBS, but this is not VBS, this is church. <laughs> Barnaby, we're gonna set Swishy right over there and get into our story, okay? Okay, I think Swishy will enjoy seeing our friends and hearing the story, I'm sure she will. Today's Bible story is a sound effects story. Just like movies and TV shows have sound effects, we're going to add sound effects to this story to highlight certain parts. We get to make noise? Yeah, yes, we get to make noise. Oh, goody. Listen and watch closely. I will show you just what to do when the time comes. One day, Jesus crossed the Sea of Galilee. So we're going to be the wind blowing Jesus' boat. Everybody, Not getting enough wind, come on. Yeah. <laughs> get all the way across the sea. Very good. When he reached the other side, a huge crowd gathered to watch him cure the sick. Now we're going to be a crowd of sick people. And you're cured. Okay, very good. As the sun began to set, we're going to make a sun setting noise. The disciples said, it is getting late and the people have nothing to eat. What? Nothing to eat? That's terrible. I know. Just keep listening to the story. We'll see what happens. Then give them something to eat, Jesus said. So everyone hold your hands out like Jesus. Give them something to eat. That's what he said, right? One of the disciples said to him, there is a boy here who has five barley loaves. We're going to pat our chest five times, one for each loaf. One, two, three, four, five. And two fish. We're going to make two mouth pop noises for the fish. But what are those for so many people? Jesus said, make the people sit down. So the people, more than 5,000 in all, went to a grassy place and sat down. So we're going to make the noise. All those people sitting down make a lot of noise. Okay, they're seated. Excellent. Then Jesus took the five loaves. Let's pat again for the five loaves. One, two, three, four, five. And the two fish. I bet you can guess what we're going to do now. Very good. And when he had given thanks, he broke the loaves and gave them to those who were seated. And he gave the fish also. The people ate as much as they wanted. So now you get to be people eating as much as you want. <laughs> Very good. When the people were full, we're going to take a deep, satisfied. <sighs> yeah, like you were really hungry, then you ate a good meal, and <sighs> you're feeling so good. When the people were full, Jesus told the disciples to gather all the leftover pieces. The disciples gathered up enough leftovers to fill 12 baskets. 12? That's a lot of baskets. I know. We're going to clap 12 times, one for each of those baskets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Whew, that's a lot of leftovers. So now we're going to talk a little bit about our story. How many people were in the crowd? Does anyone remember how many people? Lydia? Uh. More than 5,000. More than 5,000. Thumbs up if that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people, yes. Who came forward with something to eat? I see someone with five kids. Jeff, <laughs> you can answer. The boy. Right, a boy came forward with something to eat. And what was in his meal? What did he have to offer? What did he have to offer? Lydia? Uh, five loaves of barley bread and two small fish. Yeah, that's exactly right. Someone was paying attention. High five. Yeah. What an act of faith. That child believed that his humble meal in God's hands could feed that huge crowd. And did it? Thumbs up if it fed the crowd. Yeah, it did. What if that child's faith inspired those around him? Maybe there were others who had just a little bit of food also, but they didn't believe it would make any difference. Maybe when they saw that child give his food to share, they decided to share their food too. And then maybe some more people gave, and maybe some more. Before they knew it, there was enough for everyone to eat, plus 12 baskets full of leftovers. Maybe God's power physically multiplied the loaves and fishes for that single lunch, or maybe God's power warmed the hearts of those gathered and inspired them to share what they had. A few days ago, this was so a few days ago, one of the other days of VBS, we recognized that God is good, not simply by giving us food, but by giving us each other. The daily special for the day that we had this story was, by God's hands, we all are fed. So let's say that together. By God's hands, we all are fed. God's hands can do amazing things. Now, who here would like to know what God's hands look like? 
You want to know what God's hands look like? All right, I'm going to show you what God's hands look like. The first step is I want you to lift your hands and raise your face toward heaven. Okay. Now, look at your hands. Those are the hands that God uses to do good work in the world. Raise your hands again. And look at the hands of someone sitting next to you. Those are also hands that God uses to do good things in the world. Isn't that so cool you get to see God's hands on a daily basis? I think that's so cool. Yeah, I think that's so cool too. All right, so now we are going to do our closing prayer. And this is a call and response prayer where we are also going to use our hands. So I'm going to say a part, and then you're all going to respond with, by your hands, we all are fed. You want to practice your part? By your hands, we all are fed. Very good. All right. So let us pray. Lord, you fed your people in the desert. By your hands, we all are fed. You fed Elijah, the widow, and her son. By your hands, we all are fed. Your natural food nourished Daniel and his friends. By your hands, we all are fed. You made it so that a child's humble meal could feed over 5,000 people. By your hands, we all are fed. You give us what we need for the day. By your hands, we all are fed. Help us to reach out to feed your world because... By your hands, we all are fed. Amen. All right. Well, thank you. It was so good to see all of you again. Two of you live at my house. I see you a lot, but it was good to see everyone. All right. Let's go. Five, two, one. So many people gathered round. To hear what Jesus had to say And as the sun was sinking down All of their bellies start to ache They came what they had The Lord multiplied There's more than enough Cause Jesus provided Everybody ate their fill And they collected what was left The baskets overflowed With more than they had started with They gave what they had The Lord multiplied There's more than enough Cause Jesus provided
Hello, good morning. Um, I'm Gretchen Stunkel, and my lab assistant, Ben, will be up here shortly. Um, we did science all week long. Um, with the food trucks, we did food science, and it was a lot of fun. So we thought we'd come today and share one of the experiments that we did there. Ben, why don't you grab that hot water and bring it on up? We wanted to kind of demonstrate that basic principle that hot things rise and cold things sink. And Ben shared this um, particular experiment with me. He remembers doing it in school and how neat it was. And so um, we did it, and it was pretty cool. So what we're going to do is I have this room temperature water here in the jar. And I've brought um, some blue ice cubes to kind of show the cold water. So I'm going to drop one of the blue ice cubes right into the jar. And we're going to see what happens. Ben is preparing some red hot water. You can see it's really hot there. Good job. And so we're going to use the blue to show what that's doing. And as it melts, it'll start to, I'm trying to see, it's all in front of my label, but you can see that the blue, as it's melting, it's slowly starting to trickle down. And it's kind of neat, as it starts to melt more, you'll see more coming down. And the kids got to see earlier in the week, they got to see how adding food coloring to water, typically when you put food coloring into water, it just poof, it's all that color, right? You drop in some blue and poof, it spreads pretty quickly throughout all the water. So this was kind of neat to remind them how that happened. And we're going to see, we got the blue ice cube slowly melting. And so then I'm going to drop in the hot water. Get it in there. Now, you can see the hot water. And it's not just spreading throughout the entire jar. It's sitting on top, which is really, really cool. You can see that there's a hot water layer that sits right on top. And then in the back, see if you can see it, the blue from the ice cube is traveling straight down. And when the hot water hits it, it starts to melt even faster. And what's neat is that we were able to see that some of the red also was getting quickly cooled and brought down to the bottom. And then eventually, you'll see this kind of blue purple, because it's mixing with the red, down at the bottom. There's a clear layer still, because that's our room temperature, and the red is hot. And I really like this, because we just had that heat wave. And we don't have air conditioning in our house. And so this same principle works with air, um, other substances. And so I know that my upper layer of my house was sweltering. It pretty much was like this red band of fire up there. And so when you would walk down the stairs, it was much better. You could tell that it was cooler. Um, and if we were lucky enough to have a basement, um, like some of the people that I talked to at VBS, and they spent a lot of that heat wave sleep, sleeping and hanging out down in their basement because that is the coolest part of the house. So I'm glad we got to come here and share this with you today. And um, VBS was a really, really great experience. All right, Ben, let's take it. As our uh, Musicians are setting up and we prepare if we're able in body and our spirit to rise up. Um, VBS was a fabulous experience. If you have children, grandchildren, your neighbor's friends, your friend's friends, remember to register early next year. We actually had a wait list and had to turn some uh, children away. And if you like to volunteer next year, it's a wonderful opportunity. The more volunteers we have, the more children we can host because we have limitations on the child-adult ratio. So please remember what amazing work God does in and through God's uh, people, our hands. Would you rise awesome. if you're able in body and or spirit? Okay, uh, we're going to shock you a little bit. <laughs> Just want you to be ready for it. But I, was, I learned a lot during that uh, uh, summary of VBS. Uh, first, that God performs miracles through hands, right? Our hands, the ones at the, attached at the end of your 
forearms. <laughs> and, uh, and they're sometimes of great need. So next week, I have great need. I don't have Patty here, which makes me very anxious. And I don't have <laughs> David here, which makes me very sad. So if anybody out there, we're going out to the universe, right, wants to come here and join me, get a hold of me. I could use some hands. So to that extent, I'm going to add a little bit of um, technology. Let's see if it works. <laughs> There you go. healthier and adding more steps on your health app. Um, the flowers this morning are dedicated to the Fredeen family in memory of Amy Fredeen, uh, Michelle Joyce's cousin's wife, and their children's name is um, Key and Connor. Let us keep them in our prayers. Who's, Amy's love was fierce. May she rest in the immeasurable, infinite, and eternal love of God. Let us share in the prayers of the people. Um, I invite you to listen to this litany and pray with our hearts. 
We thank you, God, for the gift of faith and for all the ways your people's witness, testimonies, stories, our hands and feet shape our lives and your children's lives faithfully during this week's VBS. God, you are great, you are good, and we praise you. We praise you, O great God, that by faith we began praying and preparing for VBS earlier this year, even in the midst of uncertainties and unknowns of our future with both COVID and staff changes. By faith, we trust you have been and will be good to us. We thank you for all our volunteers like five loaves and two fish and one single prayer. All were fed through yours and our hands. By faith, we started registering, meeting, recruiting, ordering supplies, preparing parts and pieces, reading and praying, calling for volunteers, shopping for snacks and food, moving and setting up equipment, taking photos and sharing, feeding on your daily bread, your word of life, and one another with abundant, more than enough love. By faith, we are building relationships and communicating our thanksgiving with praise and worship. By faith, we receive far more than we gave. By faith, we learned how we can participate in showing your greatness, O oh God, as part of what it means to be church together. By faith, we presented ourselves through re recreation and your children delighted while racing with bananas held by tongs. By faith, we told your stories, broke bread, and shared snacks made of Swedish fish and chocolate pudding, crackers and cheese, fruit kebabs and pizzas. By faith, we experimented in our science labs, mixing flour and yeast with sugars and salts. By faith, we participated in your ongoing creation with paint and cut up fruit and aprons, all kinds of arts and crafts. By faith, we told your stories through videos, songs, body and hand motions, and retelling your stories time and again. By faith, we answered your call to provide for those in need. We took what was given to us to share and support congregation for kids. By faith, we remember that you provided bread and quail, an endless supply of oil and flour, that you, will, that you will provide not only more than enough with leftovers, but also the good stuff, and that you yourself will be our chef, cooking the catch of the day for us. By faith, we receive Jesus as the bread of our daily sustenance. By faith, we will continue to respond to your call in our lives to be your hands to serve and provide in our community through VBS and beyond. By faith, we pray our children will continue to share what they have received so that all may know by God's great hands we are fed. By faith, the Israelites, Elijah and the widow, Daniel and his friends, Jesus and the disciples, and we at Jesus' table, at VBS table, are fed and blessed. At any point, O oh God of goodness, though we can stop our praying, our serving, our receiving and giving, stop our providing, our faithing, we do not stop because it is you, it is you, O oh God, your gift of faith, faith as the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things unseen, that blesses us to still pray our thanksgivings this day. Thank you, God, you are good. We pray in the name of your greatness and generosity. In Jesus' name. Amen. And now let us share in the prayer Jesus taught us in the VBS version. Again, if your heart is overflowing as a thanksgiving, let us sing the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples in the VBS version on this video. Uh, if you're able to find your spirit, let us rise. And if you prefer to clap. Our Father in heaven. Our Father in heaven. How awesome is your name? How awesome is your name? Your kingdom come, your will be done. Your kingdom come, your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. On earth as it is in heaven. 
bears in hell. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our sins as we forgive. Lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Your name, your kingdom come, your will be done. Your kingdom come, your will be done. On earth as in hell, on earth as in hell. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our sins as we forgive. Forgive our sins as we forgive. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom. Daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive our sins as we forgive. Forgive our sins as we forgive. Lead us not into temptation. Our reading is from Hebrews chapter 11, verses 1 through 3 and 8 through 16 from the Inclusive Bible. Listen. Faith is the reality of all that is hoped for. Faith is the proof of all that is unseen. Because of faith, our ancestors were approved by God. By faith, we understand that the world was created by the word from God and that what is visible came into being through the invisible. By faith, Sarah and Abraham obeyed when they were called and went off to the place they were to receive as a heritage. They went forth, moreover, not knowing where they were going. By faith, Sarah and Abraham lived in the promised land as resident aliens, dwelling in tents with their children and grandchildren who were heirs of the same promise, for they were looking forward to the city with foundations, whose designer and maker is God. By faith, Sarah received the ability to conceive, even though she was past childbearing age, for she thought that the one who had made the promise was worthy of trust. As a result of this faith, there came forth from one woman and one man, themselves as good as dead, descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and the sands of the seashore. All of them died in faith. They didn't obtain what had been promised, but saw and welcomed it from afar. By acknowledging themselves to be strangers and exiles on the earth, they showed that they were looking for a country of their own. If they had been thinking of the country from which they had come, they'd have been able to return to it. But they were searching for a better country, a heavenly one. So God isn't ashamed of them or ashamed to be called their God. That's why God has prepared a city for them. The word, word of, of God, God for the, the people, people of God. God. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.
us arise if you are able in body and or spirit. And we are singing with our masks on, but you can have the mask off uh, on the non-singing times. Well, this is a song that up until five days ago, I'd never heard. <laughs> but I really, really like it. And I think you are too. It, uh, we're going to instruct you to clap. Uh, you'll figure it out. But the first time we clap, we're going to clap once, then twice, then three times, then four times. And just be thankful we're not adding a fifth. So. <laughs> Somebody's knocking, knocking at your door. Somebody's knocking, knocking at your door. Somebody's knocking at your door. Somebody's knocking at your door. Oh, sinner, why don't you answer? Somebody's knocking at your door. Knocks like Jesus, somebody's knocking at your door. Knocks like Jesus, somebody's knocking at your door. Oh, oh, sinner, why don't you answer? Somebody's knocking at your door. Can't you hear him? Somebody's knocking at your door. Can't you hear him? Somebody's knocking at your door. Oh, sinner, why don't you answer? Somebody's knocking at your door. Jesus calls you. Somebody's knocking at your door. Jesus calls you. Somebody's knocking at your door. Somebody's knocking at your door. You can trust him. Somebody's knocking at your door. You can trust him. Somebody's knocking at your door. Oh, sinner, why don't you answer? Somebody's knocking at your door. I want to hear you now. Somebody's knocking at your door. Somebody's knocking at your door. Oh, oh, sinner, why don't you answer? Somebody's knocking at your door. Do it again. Somebody's knocking at your door. Somebody's knocking at your door. Oh, sinner, why don't you answer? Somebody's knocking at your door. Somebody's knocking. Somebody's knocking, knocking at your door. Somebody's knocking, knocking at your door. Somebody's knocking, knocking at your door. Clap, clap, clap. Somebody's knocking, knocking at your door. There you go. <laughs> Great clapping. Thank you. Amen. Why don't you come right? Why don't you come right here so you're visible? That's good. Thank you. Now I'm gonna. I gotta get to the word anyway, so that's good. Thank you, Lydia. <laughs> If you have not yet prepared a solid and liquid at home online, please go ahead and prepare some to celebrate with us. Water will be fine, too, during our great Thanksgiving. This is Christ's table. All are welcome here. You don't have to be Methodist. You don't have to be baptized. You don't have to be a certain age. You don't have to have certain beliefs. Come with a trust. Trust that it is Christ who is knocking at your door. It is Christ who invites you. It is Christ who feeds us of Christ's self. All means all. All are welcome. Christ invites us to his table, us who love him, who earnestly repent of our sin and seek to live in peace with one another. 
Therefore, let us confess our sin before God and one another. Patience, oh God. When we want immediate results, remind us, no, remind us of the slow unfolding of this, day by day, prayer by prayer, generation to generation. Forgive our impatience, oh God. Like an oak, faith grows purposely and firmly. As roots stretch down, so faith grounds itself in our living. As branches and leaves provide life, so our faith produces the fruit of love and justice. Through God's forgiveness, we continue to grow in faith. Secure in the love of God, we endure. Amen. Let us pass the peace of Christ with one another. Peace of Christ to our friends online. Peace of Christ, Lydia. You may pass the peace of Christ with one another. Peace of Christ, Lydia. Peace of Christ, Jack. Peace of Christ, Justin. Peace of Christ, Graham. Peace of Christ, Roger. Peace of Christ, Dad. Peace of Christ, Dad. Yes. The peace of Christ be with you. Our daily bread. the love of God that provides. By God's hands and Christ's love, we are fed. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, God Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, from everlasting to everlasting, from VBS to VBS. You alone are God. God, you are great. God, you are good. You have blessed us with your grace, fed us with your manna, the good stuff, and nourished us with the water of life. And so with your people on earth and the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. is risen, Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and online and on these gifts of bread 
and wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ that we may be for the world the body of Christ redeemed by his blood. By your spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet of justice, mercy, and peace. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with your Holy Spirit and your Holy Church, all honor and glory is yours, almighty God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Because there is one loaf, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. The bread which we break is sharing in the body of Christ. And the cup over which we give thanks is in the sharing in the blood of Christ. Kristen? body of Christ given for you. And you can dip uh, your gluten-free bread first. The love of Christ. Thank you. Thank you. I will partake at the end. I am going to invite um, Kristen and Lydia to uh, serve there and then serve each other last and then Gwen and Jack to serve on that aisle and serve each other last. Some uh, instructions for our in-person. If these two aisles, uh, folks, if you would come down one row at a time down the middle, take, it's all gluten-free, pre-cube with the tong from Lydia, and take the cup from uh, Kristen, and you can dispose of the cup or put it back in the container, and if you would all go back on the end aisle and back. On this side, if you would all come all the way to the end of the aisle, take your elements, and then go down the middle aisle back to your places. I invite our tech team and worship crew in the back to come up first and take from Kristen, from Gwen and Jack on the right here. And if you are uh, need the elements to be brought to you, if you would just give me a wave, and we will make sure it is brought to you. Um, if you would like to not take communion, please come up and put your hands over your heart, and a blessing will be offered to you as well. All are welcome here, um, and all always means all. When you are done partaking, if you would follow along in the singing of One Bread, One Body, and continue the communion together, all are welcome. Thank you. Hold on. We need Jason. <laughs> Sorry, Jason. <laughs> through Jason's hands. God works in mysterious <laughs> ways. Are you there, Patty? Testing, too. Testing. there Ground I am. Ground control, there she is. One bread, one body, one Lord of all. One cup of blessing which we bless And we, the many Throughout the earth We are one body in this one
one Lord of all, one cup of blessing which we bless, and we, the many, throughout the earth. and goodness, we give you thanks for this great Thanksgiving with our hearts, our hands, our bodies, our spirits. We praise you. We praise you, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Our offering this Sunday is for the collections during BVS for the Congregations for Kids, which provides backpacks and school uh, necessities to students in our um, school district here in Bellevue. Let us share in the prayer of dedication together. By faith, we bring our offerings a sign of our commitment, a desire to participate and trust in your promises. Bless these gifts, our dedication of gifts received through Vacation Bible School's mission with and for the Congregation for Kids. Bless us as we dedicate all that we have and are for your glory. Amen. And let us continue with the closing hymn. It's a mama singing songs about the Lord. It's a daddy spending family time, the words that he cannot afford. These simple moments change the world. It's a pastor at a tiny little church. Forty years of loving on the broken and the these simple moments change the world 
dream small Don't try to find the God in you all Just let Jesus use you where you are One day at a time Live well Loving God and others as yourself Find little ways where only you can help With His great love A tiny rock can make a giant fall Dream small It's visiting the widow down the street Or dancing on a Friday with your friend with special needs these simple moments change the world Of course there's nothing wrong with bigger dreams Just don't miss the minutes on your way to bigger things Cause these simple moments change the world Let's see. Dream small Don't buy the lie You've got to do it all Just let Jesus use you where you are One day at a time Live well Loving God and others as yourself Find little ways where only you can help with his great love, a tiny rock can make a giant fall, so dream small. Keep living, keep serving, keep listening, keep learning, keep praying, keep hoping, keep seeking, keep searching. Out of the small things and watch them grow bigger The God who does all things make oceans from rivers Dream small Don't buy the lie, you've got to do it all Just let Jesus use you where you are one day at a time, live well Loving God and others as yourself Find little ways where only you can help With His great love A tiny rock can make a giant fall Yeah, five loaves and two fish can't feed them all Dream small Dream small mm -hmm. Dream small Dream small Five loaves, two fish, one single prayer With God's great love we can change the world and now, people of God full of faith, go forth, trusting God's gift of daily bread and provisions along the way. Full of faith, go forth, thanking God and proclaiming God is great, God is good. Full of faith, go forth, holding God's hands that feeds us and our extending our hands to feed our world. Go forth, faithing as a verb, as the gift of God. Amen. Amen. Let us pass the peace of Christ with our, our friends once again. Peace of Christ be with you, friends online. <laughs>